Well, it may have been voted as one of the worst places to live in the country at the start of the year, but since then, Croydon has pushed past the negativity and was named as the London Borough of Culture 2023. To celebrate that accolade, the town has been getting a little light-hearted makeover. We sent Jay Akbar out with his binoculars. If we're really, really quiet, we can see the lesser-known blue giraffe, but it seems to have wandered away from its natural habitat to... Um, to Croydon. Sorry, I couldn't resist. When the Serengeti comes to South London, how could I? Look, I wasn't the only one on a city safari. We've seen three so far. Oh, I the fourth. Fourth one, so we've got a, a fair few to, to find. And Bella, are you having a nice day? Yeah. Yeah? Well, well what do you like about the giraffes? Um, I like that um, people have actually thought of them and made them. They did, all to celebrate Croydon being London's borough of culture. There are 30 hand-painted sculptures dotted about town. Who would like a map? Who wants to go first? Look, at this point, you're probably wondering... Why giraffes? So, for us, giraffes, um, they symbolise something. Giraffes are absolutely unique. And what we wanted to do was to celebrate diversity, to be able to show, from Croydon's perspective, that we are all different. Especially Fleur, painted by Becky. Her whole entire body is embellished with a glow-in-the-dark paint. So oh, soon as it cool. gets dark, every single flower on her body will glow. That is going to confuse some people at night in Croydon. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it attracts more people to her. It did, as did Aaron's, while we were out filming. Aaron's right there. Oh, this is his giraffe. Oh, is this your work? Yeah. Oh, hi, Aaron. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> Have you had a favourite yet? This one. <laughs> Well, it really was made with love. My nan was from here and I used to visit and we used to go to Surrey Street Market every weekend. It was just full of culture, vibrance, and um, it's a real like community hub and I wanted that to be represented through my draft. The Croydon Stands Tall exhibit is art imitating life in the borough. They'll be up until the 27th of October, then auctioned off to raise money for crisis. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a concrete jungle to explore by tram. Jay Akbar, ITV News. Got it all on this program, haven't we?